My name is Felix, and my pronouns are he, they. My name is Jackie, she, her. My name is Sadie, and my pronouns are they, them. Melanie Tinoco, and she, her, hers. Traditionally, in most sporting spaces, four out of five LGBTQ youth are not out to their coaches. And when LGBTQ youth do not feel like they can be themselves, it hinders their ability to grow as an individual, as an athlete, and as a student. Play Proud is an innovative program where we take coaches, professional clubs, and fan groups through a very intensive 100-hour residential program where they learn the skills, be able to ensure that all LGBTQ people feel safe and comfortable. The partnership with Common Goal, specifically with the Play Proud initiative, is a priority of ours because it's carrying out our core values of teamwork, leadership, and commitment. We make sure that we, that training starts with our coaches and that everything we know starts with that coach-poet-athlete relationship. People will often ask, why sport and poetry? And I think what I always tell people is that the trust that is built between teammates on the soccer field creates this space where our young people feel safe to take risks, they feel safe to be vulnerable, whether that's through trying something scary in soccer or writing a poem about something that's really important to them. I think it's important to be in a more diverse community because at a young age, being around the same thing is not very open for someone. So being around more people, I'd like to say opens more opportunities for a kid. There was a lot of different genderqueer people. So seeing that opened a lot in me and it made me find myself easier. Having training around the LGBTQ um, within scores is great because we need a lot more coaches and adults being involved in understanding of these individuals that are coming into our environment. I really want to encourage the fact that they are people first so that they can start getting into like how they feel about themselves instead of having like somebody tell them, oh, you are this. I don't want to have that box for them. A lot of people will put you down, but you just gotta learn how to keep your head up and not let what people say about you, like change who you are. Even if that one person tells them they aren't, there's like a thousand or a million people that are telling them that they can do it. We are all equal and we're all human and we all deserve the same respect. I would tell my younger self that there's nothing to be afraid of and that I like being your real self is better than kind of hiding away just because you're scared of what other people would think. Because if that's how you want to be, then that's how you want to be.